Good morning, everyone. Father Wynn here with my Peruvian coffee cup filled with coffee. On this Ascension Thursday, the 13th of May, 2021. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to morning prayer. Let's begin by breathing, closing our eyes, just watching our breath, feeling the air going in and out of our lungs. Breathing in the breath of God as the disciples in the upper room breathed in the breath of God. And releasing our breath and releasing all that we carry into this day all that frightens us, all that confuses us, all that worries us. These we can release on our breath into the breath of God. To let go of and let God take them where they will. And with each release of breath, we can move into that quiet place within. That center point in the midst of the turning world. That peace that passes all comprehension, which we can carry wherever we go this day and offer to others. In a world so fraught with division, fear, and separation, So we'll begin. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is ascended into heaven. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Alleluia. The Lord is ascended into heaven. Come, let us adore him. The psalm reading for today is Psalm 8. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You have set up a stronghold against your adversaries to quell the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in the courses, what is humanity that you should be mindful of us? the son of humanity, that you should seek us out. You have made him but little lower than the angels. You adorn him with glory and honor. You give him mastery over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet, 
all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks in the path of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke chapter 24, verses 44 to 53. Jesus said to his disciples, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple, blessing God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Our canticle response this morning is the celebratory uh, canticle, the Te Deum Laudamus, we praise thee, O God. And I'm going to use the traditional language, which is found in Rite 1 of the Book of Common Prayer, and this is Canticle 7. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine adorable true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. The Collect of the Day. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, ascended far above the heavens, that he might fill all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. 
a collect for Thursday, a collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A collect for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit <clears throat> that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Prayer for the morning. This is another day, O Lord. I know not what it will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If I am to stand up, help me to stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, let me do it gallantly. Make these words more than words and give me the spirit of Jesus. Amen. Today, we remember all those facing illness, surgery, injury, or adversity, especially Ethelene, Stanley Avery, Curtis Bancroft, John Camp, Catherine Blackwood, Dwight Buholtz, Al Butzer, Dawson Chambers, Sue Cromlin, Mary Earhart, Marilyn Gindros, Doris Graves, Nancy Hemming, Letitia Middaw, James Malloy, Kelsey Nolan, Dennis Provost, Phyllis Sayers, Mark Sayers, pray especially for Phyllis and Mark as they fly across country today, Marge Setnicki, Irene Wenger, and Kim Williams. Let us bless the Lord, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Hope you all have a beautiful Ascension Thursday. It is a gorgeous day here in Norfolk. A little chilly, but, uh, but beautiful and sunny. And I'll be thinking about you all today.